Hello, I'm Laura Rosenberry, the Dean of the University of Florida Levin College of Law. You're going to get a lot of advice about how to prepare the best application for law school. And I'm sure all of it will be great. Um, but remember, you need to be authentic. Don't try to be someone else. And it's really easy to think schools are looking for only one type of student, and that's just not true. And then remember, the application process is just a means to an end. You also have to think about how are you going to succeed in law school. You know, getting into law school is not like just getting a gold star. Getting into law school is the beginning. You're going to have to work really hard harder than you probably did in undergraduate. But don't be overwhelmed by that. A lot of it is just showing up and putting in the time. And finally, keep an open mind. You might think uh, you're going to be an IP lawyer or a criminal lawyer um, before you start. And then you take another class, say you take torts or you take property, and you realize, whoa, I had no idea that there was such diversity um, to what law is. You want to find the area of law that interests you the most and where you can use your strengths to succeed. I'm so glad you're applying to law school. Um, good luck with the process and always remember UF Law. Hi, this is Mike Spivey. I'm the founding partner of the Spivey Consulting Group. I'm trying to get the beautiful backdrop of where I'm traveling in. But more importantly, I'm trying to help my friend Amanda get you all admitted to the law schools you want to go to. I have two and a half minutes to do that, so I want to talk to you about essentially the most important element of any law school application, which is simply to differentiate. Okay, so law schools are getting thousands of files, hundreds a day at a lot of schools. And when you've done admissions for, so for example, I've done it for 20 years. When you've done admissions for as long as many of the admissions decision makers, those files start blending in together. They all start sounding very similar. They're often overwrought, and by that I mean they're overly wordy. They use too many uh, multisyllabic, polysyllabic words that no one would use in the conversation. They're not about topics that you would tend to talk to a friend about. They're about things that are meant to impress the admissions committee. So what I want you all to think of is in terms of how to uh, what would I personally write about, not what would I write about, what's important to me, not what's important to a stranger. You don't know the admissions committee. You don't know that stranger. You know yourself. Every one of you, particularly in the groups Amanda works with, which are un often underrepresented minorities, every one of you has something about yourself, of course, that is differentiating. You're unique. It's a word I don't even like to use in applications, but by very nature of of who you are you have unique experiences what you need to do is take those unique experiences parlay them into elements of your application that are going to make you be memorable to the admissions officers reading it whether you hiked a mountain like the one behind me and you tried 20 times and failed but on the 21st time you made it right whether you learned how to ride a bike as an adult whether you're pet cat Jazzy was sued and taken away from you when you were eight years old and that motivated you to become a lawyer. Those are all three of those topics, maybe not that particular mountain, are topics that have worked well for the applicant, but they didn't work well because of the topic. They worked well because they were sincerely important to the applicant. Things that are sincerely important to you, those are gonna shine, those are gonna pop. Use those in your application. The numbers are gonna speak for themselves. Uh, my advice would be keep taking the LSAT until you can get the score that you think you're capable of. Let the numbers take care of themselves and let you be you. In an interview process, in the application, I want you to always be comfortable being yourself. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it wasn't too shaky. I hope you enjoyed the beautiful setting of my travel and best of luck in the application process. So you want to go to law school. Hooray! Best tip of advice or words of wisdom would be for you to um, make yourself as desirable as possible. Take undergrad seriously. Take studying for the LSAT seriously. It is not a test that you can't overcome. What's going on, y'all? First and foremost, go Gators. First, give the LSAT the respect it deserves. Um, 
the difference between a couple points can be the difference between thousands of dollars in scholarship. Uh, second piece of advice is apply early. Third piece of advice is make sure that all of your um, application materials are thoroughly vetted by someone you respect as a writer. Make sure that there are no mistakes in there. Make sure that the story flows appropriately. Uh, make sure that you write a diversity statement. I understand this is going out to minority students at UF, so definitely write that. The law school admissions process can and will be a very difficult process, but it is only a small part of your journey toward becoming a lawyer. A lot of times the process can be very isolating, especially for minority applicants, but remember to keep your um, personal and mental health and your family and spiritual life and personal life just as strong as your application is going to be to law school. The most important part of the law school admissions process for me was just being prepared, being informed. And that meant doing my research over the summer um, or even earlier, knowing exactly what I wanted out of a school, speaking to alumni. That was really important for me. Don't choose a school just based on ranking. Obviously, ranking is important, but you're really going to want to look into like different programs that the school offers and like the professors, what the ideology of the school is, what, what they're focused on, whether that be public interest, whether that be big law. Um, you want to look into their clinics, into the classes that they offer, kind of how the curriculum is set up because that's not something that I looked into at first and then ultimately that kind of made the decision for me. So I have two main pieces of advice. The first one is going to be a little bit ironic, but be careful who you take your advice from. It's important that you only take advice from people who've either accomplished or have similar goals to you because there's a lot of misinformation out there. The second piece of advice, and this one's really the most critical one, the LSAT is by far the most important part of any law school application. I personally spent six months studying for the LSAT and I was able to increase my score by 25 points, but that came with a lot of hard work. Preparing for this one exam for this six months can set you up for the rest of your life. So it's important that you focus on it with everything that you've got.